and then she's back. She's back, she's back, she's back. It's all been a really long time since I last filmed. <laughs> tripod because this thing is really annoying but it does the job so do I need it or do I want it that's the question but it's not doing a good job right now oh my god I thought I would end with working on my formatting revisions which yeah they're not very fun it's all the boring stuff I thought <laughs> because mine was creative work I didn't have to do like the abstract and everything and I do so that's fun I don't know if an abstract for like creative writing is supposed to be like fictional <laughs> or if it's supposed to be like I don't know if it's supposed to be like a mini summary of my book like a two paragraph synopsis or if it's supposed to be like what I learned when writing this yeah I'm a little confused a brief abstract describing the work yeah so is it like this is a novel <laughs> or is it like Paul is a young angsty teenager I don't know that's not my real abstract <sighs> she also said I can go through and read it for typos was that like her way of letting me know that there's typos <laughs> Because I don't want to reread it again, but I have to. I'm just going to ask her. I thought I was going to be turning this next round in, but I literally don't know what the abstract is. So I'm going to fix some of the things. I found out I can do a dedication page, which I didn't realize before. So I'm going to include that. And I guess I'll turn it more officially in later. Okay, yeah, so I totally thought I was going to start it tonight, and I'm totally not, <laughs> because I have a lot of questions. It looks like I should copy-paste things into this template that I admit I didn't know existed. And it's probably going to take some time, and I suppose I should try and read it all the way through for typos. So hopefully, I don't know, my goal is to get through a few chapters a day, not changing anything heavy, but just checking for typos. And as I read through it, I'll copy it over into this template. That's the plan. Man, it's gonna take longer than I thought. Oh well. I still have like seven days. Oh, good, a week. Oh my God. I just wanted to share this really quick because I thought it was funny. I have a very natural, like, I don't know if you'd call it alarm, but like, I guess kind of like a alarm clock that tells me when my work day is up. But right around five o'clock, the last few days, the sun hits me square in the face, like through my window. And that's when I know my day is done. <laughs> the last few days of work have been so busy. I have um, a couple added responsibilities while we are in the process of trying to hire somebody. So I've been dying and I think that is a big reason why I don't wanna work on formatting changes and all of that stuff. Cause I know it probably will only take me, cause I have to do a two, three paragraph abstract, which I just cannot bring myself to want to do at all. <laughs> and I know probably in reality it would take me like an hour at most if i'm being really picky about it i could probably write one up in like 10 minutes but then i'd want to you know make it good so maybe 30 minutes of concentration and then of course i do want to go through and reread to check for typos and so those are all pretty fairly easy things but i just like when i'm done for the day at work i just can't <laughs> i cannot and so i'm really hoping this weekend is the weekend i'm gonna like buckle down and do it i'm still not sure about my deadline because my program director has said kept see, keep saying in every email like take your time no rush like every time um she gets back to me with formatting like ask her formatting questions and i'm like thinking she sent me an email that said that just a couple days ago and i'm like no rush isn't it doing like a week like that sounds kind of like a rush to me but now i'm like wait 
is it not due in a week like do i have until like october because like i don't graduate till november like do i have that long <laughs> I mean, I don't want to put it off that long because, like, I just want it behind me, but because it'd be nice at least to not have to stress about it with my added work responsibilities. And I really miss reading. I am so tired of only writing and not reading, but I just, I gotta finish it. Haley, just finish it. Ugh. It is, I swear to God, I said this in my uh, writing, I think, or the, I don't even know when I said it, but I swear it's it harder towards the very end because you're so close but you also just want to be done and so it's like so hard to just power through and finish it is so hard i feel like how i did when i was writing my short story a few classes ago and i had to just reread it and i just couldn't <laughs> it's like i just want to be done with it i don't care if there's a typo anymore i just don't care anyway I just had to share all that word vomit good gravy it is a hot tamale up here <laughs> anyway we're gonna try this again i got feedback on what i need to do and now i gotta actually do it when i say my motivation is zero i mean it's zero <laughs> i feel like i just started to get a taste of the no homework life and now i have to do my final pass i'm gonna at least do all of the icky things i don't want to do today which is write the abstract, transfer everything onto the template I'm supposed to use, which I had no idea about until a few days ago. That's on me, by the way, sort of, but I won't get into that. Then tomorrow I figure I'll focus more on checking for last minute typos before I submit it. I like deep read, like line by line, word by word, about halfway, um, last month and then i stopped because <laughs> i was like i want to do something else um anyway so i have to do that again i have to check for typos and really slow read the whole thing which takes a really long time it takes me about an hour a chapter so that's like i have like 18 chapters to go so it's like 18 hours so yikes tomorrow's gonna be fun i like quick read everything and so i think i caught the big stuff but you know those little typos that sneak through they're very sneaky I just realized I forgot my iPad downstairs and I can't work without Kim Chance and Megan LaFroy. So I'm gonna have to go get it. Be right back. All right, we got the iPad. Where did I just put it? Oh my gosh, <laughs> big desk problems. Got my iPad, now I can work. I could put them on like my second monitor, but I got used to doing things a certain way. Sorry if the background noise gets loud. I had to open the window up all the way because it is so hot. Can you tell I'm procrastinating? I don't wanna do this. It is a Monday and I just wanna watch TV. Actually, I'd wanna do that any day of the week, so. Let's get set up. Let's get set up. This is, I need a new mini tripod so freaking bad. This is like totally stripped or whatever it's called, where it just will not hold its position. And it's crickety and loud and annoying. By the way, I made it all the way. I'm on November 15th, 2019 right now of Ward Sprint. So I'm almost in 2020. Oh my God. <laughs> it's funny because in the, the Word Sprints I'm on right now, Kim Chance also complains about her tripod. So I can relate. See, I can't even have you standing up all the way because it won't hold. Okay, what am I gonna do when I reach the end? I'm just gonna have to start rewatching from 2018 again. I've been sitting here, pouting. <laughs> it's 
sorry, I live on a very busy street. <laughs> about having to do a two paragraph summary of a book. And I'm just going through my old files. You can't see it because it's huge spoilers. Basically, I already wrote one. Uh, it's pretty dated, but I'm pretty excited. I think I can just tweak it. Nice. Also, okay, this isn't super, like, I don't know how interesting this is to talk about, but it's something I'm, like, don't know what to do. So, I got married and legally changed my last name. However, I've decided to keep my maiden name as my pen name, hence this channel is still Haley Bascom. That's what I'm gonna write under. But for my thesis, what name do I use? Do I use my pen name or do I use my legal name? Originally, I was gonna just like pretend the legal name change hadn't happened and even graduate with my maiden name. Uh, just to have like my writing degree in the name that I'm gonna publish under but in the end I decided to tack my legal name on at the end because I wanted to recognize that that degree was a journey and I changed with it <laughs> I don't know I just wanted to honor my new name there too but I don't know what to do for my thesis do I include my legal name I never changed it with the school I changed it with my work which is the same as the school but like I never changed it with the extension school I'm gonna ask her what to do because I also have to copyright it and I looked it up and you can use a pen name to copyright things uh, but I don't know it's like it's different from like published work like this is my thesis and so I almost want to reflect more of my like honor my whole self I don't know I have one day to decide <laughs> all right I think I finished the abstract pretty much um well, at least i hope i did <laughs> we'll see what my thesis coordinator thinks but i think it's dawning on me that i am so close to being done and i was just thinking about it i don't think i realized how much this has been weighing on me and this always happens where it's like i feel kind of like funk stressed down and can't pinpoint why and then I like finish something huge and I'm like oh I feel so much better that's what it was <laughs> it's like my mind doesn't even want to like tell me that that's what's bothering me but I think this is one of those things that's like it's just been in the back of my mind for a long time to get done and now that I'm almost done I'm like oh my god I'm gonna feel so good when I turn this thing in and like am officially done done I'm like sad to be done done, but um, I'm excited to not have to do any more work. <laughs> I'm sad to be done with school. I'm excited to be done with school, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, I think the thing I was dreading the most, the thesis, the thesis, but the whole thing's a thesis. The abstract I think is done. It's long though. I think she's gonna tell me it's, I don't know, it might need some adjustments, but it's okay. Are you overheating? Don't give up on me now. But yeah, so I still have a lot I want to read through. We'll see what gets done tomorrow. I'm gonna at least copy over everything I've read through and finish up my dedication and acknowledgements. And tomorrow, hopefully, I... I don't know if I'll submit. I'll at least get it to my thesis person. I'm sorry I keep being really confusing with the terms. I have a thesis director, a thesis coordinator, a thesis advisor, and I mix them up like the titles, but they're three different people and it's confusing. <laughs> Basically, the person I'm sending this to isn't the person I've been working with on my thesis, who that's my thesis advisor, maybe director. I think she's my thesis advisor. But the person I'm sending it to is the thesis coordinator, who's like the head of the program, the creative writing program. And then there's a thesis director who's in charge of the entire extension school thesis thing. It's not a department, but <laughs> the theses of the extension school students. And then there's another one. There's like <laughs> a counselor. I don't know, there was a new name I saw that I have to submit it to and I'm like, 
it was another thesis thing i'm like i have no idea who that is like y'all need different titles <laughs> this is confusing Ooh, i just finished the acknowledgements and dedication which actually was a lot more emotional than i thought it was gonna be i feel like i could cry right now <laughs> um but i won't and I'm glad that I wrote this tonight when I'm like not feeling in a huge rush right now because I, it's so funny, I never even thought to include an acknowledgement or a dedication in my thesis. I, I guess I knew you, I don't know, I never thought about it. I didn't know you could do it. Um, and so I'm, I'm really glad that I figured that out before I turned it in because there's definitely a lot of people that I want to thank. And I suddenly feel what authors must feel like because it's like, I want to thank everybody. I don't want to leave anybody out. But I also don't want to thank every single person I've ever met in my life. <laughs> and so it's like deciding who makes the cutoff. <laughs> it's brutal out there, folks. Brutal. If there is anyone in my life who felt I slighted them, maybe step up next time. Just try a little harder. <laughs> Just kidding, I probably just forgot. <laughs> or did I? Question. Chapter numbers. Roman numerals or numerical digits? I don't know what they're called. Numbers. <laughs> Traditionally, thesis, you do Roman numerals. I've been told I can do just regular digit numbers. Why am I blanking out the word for that is right now? I think I might try Roman numerals just because it looks fancy. And I actually really like Roman numerals, so I'll just see how it looks. It's gonna get a bit crazy once we start getting up to chapters like 36. No, 38 would be the longest, right? I think so. Okay, come back. Yeah. I feel like I'm having flashbacks to finishing the book because I keep thinking like, oh, tonight I'm gonna finish formatting and send it over and get approval. Um, and then I don't finish. <laughs> it's taking so long. I keep hitting road bumps. The biggest one right now, which is super annoying, but also maybe what I need. Oh, my fan's loud, I hope you can hear me. Is that what I need and that I think I use too many. The italics aren't converting to the template, so I have to basically search the document and find every time I use an italic and re-put it into the Word doc, which is annoying. Um, I think I found a shortcut. I have to like download the file again to docs and search on docs. And I won't bore you with the details, but it's taking a really long time, and I don't know what Google Docs well, okay, it's not Google Docs, it's what I did. Um, I fell, by the way, and bruised myself. Ugh, I'm a mess. But like sometimes the paragraphs have an extra tab and then sometimes they convert correctly. Like it's like tab twice. And I must have, it'd be when I copy pasted into Google Docs from a Word doc. So you can like, I can see when I copy pasted certain things and just if, and Google Docs looked okay, but now it's not converting right, and so I have to like fix it every time. I'm on chapter, I don't even want to say, I think I'm on chapter three, maybe chapter four, and I have 40 to go. Well, total, but yeah. I'm gonna save the italics for the end though, just so I can do it quicker. Yeah, I will say this, I am getting to know Word pretty good. <laughs> I'm learning all of the tools. Is there an extra space? What's going on? Why are you yelling at me? I hope you don't like that comma. Well, I do. I like commas. And I have to figure out what the correct format for AM and PM is. So capital, lowercase, because I use both. Can't do that. Alright. It's midnight. I have an early meeting tomorrow. I have to go. It's not that early. It's 10 a.m. But I have to shower before it. I probably won't shower. Hopefully I can at least get this formatted tomorrow. But I don't want to edit it in the document. So I have to do it twice. Oh no. My goal is to send it by the end of this week. 
I really didn't believe them when they said it was going to take a long time. That's on me. <laughs> Technically my deadline was the 18th, which just passed one minute ago. But I got a confusing answer basically. It kind of said like, yeah, that's your estimated deadline, but if you want to turn it in later, you can do that. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> Hope I don't get in trouble. Watch like the very last thing I do. Completely derail everything. We just out here missing deadlines. What up? <laughs> this is how I know I am becoming a writer. I never used to miss deadlines and then now that I'm at the end of my writing career, or sorry, no I'm not. Now that I'm at the end of my academic journey to become a writer i'm missing deadlines and so this is like the rite of passage right i think so i'm going to just like happy case but i gotta make sure these zero mistakes another chapter done kim Sometimes I randomly use a bunch of space in the tab. Cam just rest in peacefully and the monster attacked. Oh no, Charlie, come on. This is what I deal with, you guys. Every day. You tell him, Cam. Tell him he's being a bully. 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 I fell down a YouTube rabbit hole. Sorry if you can't hear me very well. Oh my god, why can't I talk? What the heck? Sorry if you can't hear me very well. The AC is going and I cannot turn it off or I'll die. It is like 90 degrees in Boston today. But I finished copy and pasting. And now I just have to go back in and add all the italics that got removed when I formatted it. Um, Cause that, and that's just rude. It's rude that they did that. So thankfully I found out a way on Word you can search for italics cause you cannot do that on Google Docs. At least not what I could find. Um, so I downloaded my original from Google Docs, the unformatted, and I can use the search tool to like go into then my, oops, I almost just showed the ending, <laughs> into my formatted thesis. And from there, that's when I got to really check all the typos and stuff. I'm making a sound because a lot of it is like grammar stuff that I'm like, not a hundred percent like what do you call it confident on um microsoft word has been picking up i'm really sorry if you can't hear me i'll <laughs> bring you uncomfortably close <laughs> so sorry for the close-up but oh my god it looks like i got bit <laughs> i did not <laughs> i fell on a door onto a door i but microsoft word picks up a lot more than google docs as far as like just little grammar mistakes and so I'm gonna go through every single one and see if it's right or if it's wrong or if I agree or disagree. Me and Microsoft Word really disagree on comma placement. <laughs> um, sometimes I agree with it but then sometimes I'm like are commas subjective? Like I don't know. I don't know. Please finish tonight. Please please please. Look at this monster coffee cup. <laughs> that Zach got me. I don't know if you can tell its size. It is a, a monster. Anyway, I filled it up. All right, it's 2 a.m. and I just finished sending off the next round of formatting revisions to my thesis folks. I still don't know their titles. <laughs> that was so much work. I've been working on this now for 12 hours with some goofing off in between, I'll be honest. But, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do people <laughs> self-publish and format their own books? I don't understand. I, 
could never do it. I just learned from this because it drives me crazy. But it should be good now. I still want to go through and do one final reread before I upload the final version. Just because I had like 300, um, what do they even call it? It wasn't like grammar, but just like tiny details, like concise details. I don't really know in Microsoft Word. Some of them were incorrect just based on like me reading through it. But then some of them I was like, oh, I actually don't know the answer to this. Should I put a comma there? Should I not put a comma there? I don't know. But it was just too much to continue to go through. It was driving me insane. So I'll just try and keep going at it um, until I get approval from my people. I figure that will be my my give up point. <laughs> I think I got all the typos. I'm sure there's some in there. But what are you going to do? I'm going to bed for now though. I feel pretty good about turning this in. I'm very, very, very excited to submit it finally, like the official version. Okay. Good night, you guys. Okay, I just had to start with the thing because I got the email and I wasn't expecting to get it so soon. My thesis has been approved. I like feel weirdly super emotional, I think because I just officially feel like it's over. <laughs> like all of the stress and all of just the sleepless nights. I'm also super tired, that doesn't help. <laughs> it's over oh my god i thought i'd feel sad but right now i just feel relieved <laughs> like, oh my god i like was so afraid when i turned it in last night that she was gonna they were gonna come back and say like oh it looks good but here's the next step that's gonna take six more hours you know what i mean like i wasn't sure if i did everything correctly and it looks like i did it's over I seriously want to like ball my eyes out. I won't do it on camera, but I'm gonna turn it off and probably cry. <laughs> See? Okay, I'm back to update. I did have a little cry fest. It felt good. <laughs> now I'm treating myself with, um, I don't even know what's in here. I do know what's in here, but it's like, I have this like really yummy liqueur and I mix it with water and like lemonade stuff. Not important, but I just wanted to say I feel so light right now. Like, I feel like my soul has lost 50 pounds. <laughs> like, I thought I was gonna feel this way when I first submitted my, like, the big submission on April 3rd. But this is different. I must have still been carrying the fact that I knew I was gonna have to do formatting or something. Or I just felt insecure not knowing if it was gonna be accepted or not. I don't know, but now it's like, I feel just like giddy and light and happy and relieved. Oh my God. I feel like a million dollars. I, I feel so good. This feels so good to be done. And to share, just cause it's crazy how the universe works or whatever. Um, I saw on Facebook memories today, today was the Oh God, how many years has it been? Seven year anniversary of me graduating from my undergrad, my, my first degree in college. Isn't that weird? And like now here I am finishing up my master's degree. I mean, it's not like I'm not counting as like my official, well, first of all, it's obviously not my official graduation date. And also I do still have to submit it one more time um, once I get the final steps, whatever that is. But it's a good day. It's a really, really good day. I feel really good. If only work wasn't up my butt. Work's been busy. <laughs> if work can chillax, then I would really feel happy, but it's all right, I'll take what I can get. I got the final instructions. I didn't know it was gonna happen so fast. <laughs> I swore like when I sent it to her, my thesis group originally it was gonna take like a, a few days to get back to me um and then this final part i thought would take like another few days i look really dark i think it's because i'm wearing a white shirt <laughs> but no everyone got back to me really quickly and so i guess 
I submit it tonight or just whenever I want. I know I could do it right now, but I kind of want Zach to be here. And I'm so, like, I feel like I need to reread it again. Like, I just, I just would be, I just know I'm going to be so frustrated if, like, I look back on it and find, like, even a typo. Which I'm sure, no matter what, there's going to be a typo. I mean, there's typos in published novels. But, like, if I find, like, a bunch, I'm going to be really annoyed. So, I think I am going to just kind of read through it a little bit more tonight and then see if I'm comfortable submitting it tonight or if I want to continue doing it again tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. But oh my god. This is it. It's the finish line. I'm rounding the corner. Here we go. That was corny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Turning on the camera for the first time all weekend. But that's okay, I got a lot of reading done this weekend, which was really nice, because I'm super behind on my Goodreads challenge. And I just wanted to read. And now I'm about to do even more reading. <laughs> I guess I just wanted to read without editing, is what I meant to say. I feel like I've been reading a lot of books that I'm not super excited about lately. Um, but I'm also somebody who can't stop reading a book. Like I can't, what do you call it, DNF a book which I know is something I need to fix in myself. <laughs> but it just drives me crazy. I have to know how a book ends, so even if it's not great. But anyway, I finished quite a few books that I've been trying to finish, and I feel good about that. I feel like I achieved something, and now I can get back to doing my own book reading. So let's see. Let's do it. Let's I just found out that the new Sims 4 game pack came out today and I have wasted all day reading. <laughs> I'm officially upset with myself, <laughs> but this will be a good motivator. I can't play it until I finish. So I guess that's gonna be that. <laughs> oh, if I had known though, I would have spent all day playing for sure. I need a vacation. Approaching midnight, just made myself a cup of caffeinated tea, which I'm hugely gonna regret later. <laughs> but it just got me thinking, um, you know, I've asked myself why I'm doing this. Because I've already turned in the version that's going to be or has been graded. I haven't seen my grade yet, so I don't know if it's done. And this version isn't really being published anywhere because of the way, you know, the creative writing program works. I'm essentially just turning in the correctly formatted version to my program to prove that I did it and that it's right. <laughs> um, and so I don't even think anyone's gonna read it. And I like ask myself like, then why am I spending so much time doing this? And I mean, obviously it has to be edited with my final version, but um, that, you know, I query one day, but I already know that I'm gonna change a lot or just like revise a lot and but I got thinking about it and it's like, you know, my whole academic career, <laughs> I always have hated the proofreading part and I would not do it, which is not great. And it's always been like, if I'm gonna get like downgraded for anything, it's that, is that I have typos and whatnot. Um, not a crazy amount. I think I do a pretty good job not having typos as I write, but you know, everyone has typos. So I don't know, something in me in this is just like, this is the last thing I'm probably ever gonna turn in for my academic work. And it's like, I just wanna do it right. This is the big one, this is the most important. And I just, I want it to be as good as I can make it, not because I want the best grade, because like I said, this version isn't even getting graded. But I wanna do it for me. I wanna know I finished strong as best as I could. Um, and so that's why I am doing this. and. I like, because I have had moments where I'm just like, I'm just going to turn it in. I could just be done right now. I could just turn it in right now and I would be done. But I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it. I want to read it through completely and I want to make sure that it really is a reflection of what I want this whole master's degree to represent. I thought about like, I did have the thought like, you know what? I'm probably not going to finish tonight. 
maybe at midnight I'll call it, but it's like, I've just the last couple days, I've started to have ideas for my book again, like things I want to change, things I want to add. I think in part that's, well, but because I've been reading, reading it a bit, but also I've been doing a lot of reading myself of other books and that always kind of inspires me. And I just, I want to move forward onto the next part and I can't do that until I see this draft through and give it my best edits. Um, because I also want to send this draft out to my writing group so I can get feedback. So yeah, I think I'm doing it for really just one reason and that's for myself. And that feels nice. I feel like with schoolwork, you, you know, doing it for myself is a part of it. Like that's why I'm getting my degree in the first place. But I, when I turn things in and like structure things, I'm always thinking about the grade and like, is my teacher gonna like this? Am I doing things the way they want me to, that they will respond well to? But this final version of my thesis, it's like, no, I'm doing this for me. Um, and I feel like I deserve to have it be the best version I can. So I'm gonna be late tonight, up late tonight. That's okay. I really wanna see it through just read through it in full and make it shine so I'm gonna get back to it and I will check with, with you guys in a bit I'm sure <laughs> flaw in my plan so I'm getting tired and I'm tired I kind of start to skim and obviously when you're revising you can't do that or not revising but like line editing oh my god my hair is crazy can you tell I do this when I read? <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna go to bed. It is 2.28 a.m. So it's a little late. And I did just finish another cup of tea, so I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna be able to fall asleep. Um, I'll definitely be able to finish tomorrow though because I only have 70 pages. Double space left, so like 35-ish. Single, is that right? Ish, however you want to think about it which is a lot, but doable in a night. So yeah, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I, of course, am procrastinating, hello. Oh my gosh, it's after midnight. I still haven't started for tonight. I am just pooping around on Goodreads and YouTube, as one does, but I just was looking at my old videos. I don't recommend it. <laughs> I just was looking at like my first few ones. They are so cringy. It's only from four years ago. I don't have an excuse that I was like in high school or middle school. Like, no, I was 24 years old. I was a 24 year old woman. I did not have an excuse to be that cringy, but I was. <laughs> I blame it on feeling awkward around the camera. I'm definitely more comfortable now, probably too comfortable. But it's just so hard to watch myself and listen to myself. I feel like I was a different person. This is gonna go off on a tangent. I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep it up short, wrap it up, keep it short. I don't know, there's some good things. I like how optimistic I was <laughs> with myself, but there's some bad things. For example, I published a video October 2017, and it was for tips and tricks for NaNoWriMo. What business did I have given tips and tricks? I failed the year before. <laughs> but I went on there because that's like what AuthorTube was. And maybe it still is, but I just like don't. I don't know. I think it is kind of shifting more to vlog style, which I like better anyway. But like everyone gave tips and tricks, even though none of us knew what we were talking about. So I still don't know what I'm talking about. Now I really hope I do a good job at least of saying like this is what I did and I'm not saying this is what other people should do because what business do I have? <laughs> I just had an idea so tempted to go and rewrite and add it 
but I, I'm gonna keep having ideas. I know it, I just have to finish editing this draft. I can't keep doing it. Because I don't think it'd be a quick idea. I think it's an idea that's gonna involve multiple changes. So I will hold on to it for my next draft. <laughs> but it's like, darn, this is like something that would fix a problem I've been having, like a motivation problem, blah, blah, blah. And I finally figured it out, but I'm gonna have to wait for the next draft. I just have to share, I'm so excited. My thesis jumped to 300 pages. It was bothering me so much that it was at 2.99 and I just, since editing it and writing some more words, it made it. Zach will be happy, he also was really bothered. <laughs> Getting there, should I say? Should I say it? Should I say the words? I'm not gonna say it, because if I don't say it, maybe it will happen. But I've got 53 pages to go. We'll see what happens. Oh, and it's not even midnight yet. So we're doing good. <laughs> How's that for an angle? I just have to share, and I'm sorry for my AC. It's literally 95 degrees today, so. But I was just thinking, I wrote a 300 page document and I, in school, if we got even like a 10 page assignment, would groan. And I wrote 300 pages. That's 30 10 page papers. That's terrible. <laughs> but they were fun 300 pages. So, I mean, not the whole time. Some of it wasn't fun. You saw the unfun moments, or some of the unfun moments. You actually didn't see very many of the unfun moments. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go. Can I just share? I know it's totally not a huge deal. Like, I highly doubt anyone would judge me. But I keep accidentally liking <laughs> old writing sprint videos, like, on Facebook. So it's not like on YouTube when you like a video and, like, you know, the creator doesn't get a notification. On Facebook, you definitely get a notification. And so <laughs> Kim Chance and Megan McCoy are probably like, what the hell is this person? girl doing like liking her super old videos and it's just kind of embarrassing i keep it's because i keep clicking to like look at certain comments and it's near like when the like thing pops up and then i see my little thumbs up float up and i'm like oh no i just accidentally liked it oh no <laughs> and it's like i'm getting better at least this one's under a year old but some of the other ones would not oh my god i only have 28 more pages to go and it's only just after midnight. <laughs> I'm still not gonna say it. But to just kind of talk randomly for a moment, not to get too distracted. I admit I haven't really worked on it much this weekend because it has just been, here, I'm gonna turn up my AC for this. It's gonna get chatty. It's been a really rough couple of weeks and nothing too serious. I think that's what frustrates me because it's all like stuff that shouldn't stress me out so much, but I've been having trouble not feeling stressed about things, like mostly do with work. Um, and I just, tonight I was sitting on the couch after dinner and I was like, I need a win today. I just need a win. And here I have something I could have control over, 100% control over it being a win. I could finish editing my thesis. I could turn it in and finish my degree tonight if I need it or if I want it. And I was like, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this win. And so I do feel, I don't know, I've got just a couple more, no. I have six more chapters to go. All six chapters are short, you know, 20 pages total. And um, those are really short chapters. <laughs> I'd have to fix that. But yeah, I just need a win tonight. And um, I think this is going to make me feel really good. And that's why I said to Zach, I was like, oh, I think what I just need is to like finish this one big checklist, or check thing on my checklist. 
to do and I'm gonna feel so much more empowered going into my work week. Even though my work won't change, I will have this win in my back pocket and feel better. So here we go, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Just me and Kim hanging out as always. live sprint from Kim before I realized I think I've seen this one before <laughs> some of the things she's saying I definitely remember her saying before so yeah we're getting to that point I think I might have watched them all I think I went before I went back to the beginning I like was kind of going in reverse and then I was like oh, some of the stuff she's saying I like I'm constantly behind on like references from before I think I officially watched them all, which is going to line up well because I'm also finishing today. <laughs> which is sad. What am I supposed to do now when I want to write? I watched them all. I guess I'll just watch them again. Finished. Pretty much right as the last live sprint ended, I'm going to do a final uh what do you call it spell check sweep especially in google docs because sometimes it's delayed and then i guess i'll submit it it has not sunk in that i finally finished my read through <sighs> still not sinking in i'm just smiling <laughs> all right i'm sitting here waiting for my word doc to convert to pdf because i realize it'll take a while <gasps> I just have to submit it and um I'm sitting here <laughs> and I like really don't want to do this I'm really sad like this is it then I'm done with my degree maybe forever like I don't know if I'll go back to school for any reason I'm really sad I'm like glad that this is like off my to-do list don't get me wrong but then i'm like done now what do i do <laughs> i guess i try to become an author that seems scary <laughs> i'm so worried about there being mistakes but god and I, I mean i've read through the fine tooth comb and i just could keep doing that till the end of time and i'm sure i'd find things but i guess at some point you just gotta Turn it in. And that's it. 3.08 a.m. June 8th, 2021. I am done. Now what do I do? I'm done. I just like graduate now. That's weird. Maybe it would feel more real if graduation was like, you know, in a couple weeks how it would normally go. But I officially graduate in November and then I don't have my graduation ceremony until May. <laughs> so it's like, but I'm done with everything on my end. I already even submitted like my intent to graduate form and like filled out my like what I wanted my degree to say and all that stuff. I didn't double check the spelling on my name. Oh my god. Thank god. <laughs> it's a new last name, so I'm so paranoid about it. Okay, I spelled it right. And my first name? My eyes are blurry. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Can you imagine? 
I don't know what to do. How do I feel? How do I feel? Good? I'm excited to show my acknowledgements to the people that I like thanked um, because I didn't tell anybody who I was thanking. Um, and also my dedication, which of course is my husband, Zach, who's sleeping. And um, by the time this video goes up, he'll have seen it, so it's not a spoiler. But yeah, I'm excited to do that. I'm excited to print it. I am gonna print it, even though it's not a requirement anymore. They used to have you like physically turn in your thesis, like all binded and stuff. I don't even think they paid for it, like you had to pay for it. Um, but I'm gonna actually print it. But it's 300 pages, so I don't think it's gonna be terribly cheap to print. <laughs> so we'll see. Oh, what did it end up being? Let's find out. End up being 301 pages. I thought I messed up the page number for a second. In the end, I am really glad I went back and reread everything. I honestly thought, I think I like probably fixed over like 100 typo changes, whatever. Um, which sounds like a crazy amount it is, but since the whole thing is 300 pages, that's just one per every three pages, and honestly, it was probably even more than that, so kind of crazy. Like, a lot of it was like comma placements and just style choices, but um, yeah. I like don't want to go to bed. I can't believe I'm done. Okay, when I, I'm gonna stop because this video is way too long. Thank you if you made it this far, not just on this video, but for people who've been following my journey. I literally filmed when I just got in to the program and now I'm filming the end. And so it's kind of cool. Um, I think I got approved, when was it? I think it was 2019 officially, but I started classes in 2018. is beautiful. Dear Ms. Bascom, I am pleased to inform you that you have been admitted as a candidate for the degree of Master of Liberal Arts in Extension Studies in the field of Creative Writing and Literature. I'm going to have a degree from Harvard. That's incredible. So this is going to be my first summer off since 2018, which is crazy. And I'm excited about that, but it's also going to be a very busy summer in itself. But thank God I don't have classes. Um, I've kind of gotten used to not having classes, so I guess that part won't be as big of an adjustment. But maybe even this summer not having classes, I'll finally feel like, whoa, this is weird. <laughs> also sad like it's what I look forward to so much so I don't know I'm not gonna be done taking classes though I still have my master's class and I'm going through all of the sessions and I'm gonna have a review my opinion for you guys talking about all of the writing classes I'm taking them all so I'm gonna I'm gonna like rate them or something I don't know I'll do something fun but I want to talk about all of them and um, even from there I can't see myself ever really being done like I would love to like go to conferences and all that jazz. Yeah. So my battery's telling me it's time for bed. The time is telling me it's time for bed. I guess it's time for bed. Yeah, I realize I'm just I'm more sad than I thought I would be. I realize I love school. I hate homework, but I love school. I'll see you guys in the next one.
I'm done. Oh my gosh. I don't even feel anything yet. I don't think it's hitting me. I'm excited to go tell Zach though. Final update. I had to come on here like a week later. Probably hasn't been a week. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been. But anyway, I got an A on my thesis. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm celebrating weird because I can't be too loud. But that means that my GPA jumped up to over 3.8, which means I am on the Dean's List for graduation. Pretty excited about that. I was like at 3.79 before, and so I'm like, I need an A on this thesis in order to get a three above 3.8, and I did it. I got it. I'm excited. I don't know why I just said that. I've never done that in my life. <laughs> okay, bye. Leggies. Not doing it. it's a leggy job.